I ho, it's off to work we go. Here we are again, so finish the stove. What next? Carpet. So she's demanded that she has some plush warmth under those little porky toes. I mean, those beautiful, pretty little toes that she's got. So decided to come down, but you know what? I've also decided to do, get her down here with me and help me fit it come in here, Mrs. Lumsden. <laughs> Because there's some sweeping up needs to be done. Who I mean, whose job that's going to be? Do you know what? You wouldn't even trust me to sweep up properly, so go. Get out. Do what? Get out. Right, so, um, I've been looking at YouTube. You know I like a bit of YouTube. And it says it's very really important to get swept up first. It's good with the dustpan and brush. If, do, you know, do you know, do you want the instruction leaflet for the dustpan and brush? <laughs> there you go, you've, you've missed a bit. Do it here, here. <laughs> no, no, get on with it. Right. How are you going to get around the circles? I'm going to take these out. Look, see, I've asked a nice basic question and I can always, I can almost tell the tone in your voice. No, I can hear the tone in your question. Like I haven't thought about this. No, it's a simple question. How are you going to take out the little silver bits? What she's referencing is a little silver, um, do I need to get the stuff, sorry to interrupt, do I need to get the stuff out of there or will that, <laughs> will that just come out when you lift the silver bit? Yes, it's come, come out. Thank you. She's talking about where the legs mount for the main table. They have to take those out first because obviously they will be refitted on top of the carpet. We have to cut a hole in the carpet and refit those so that we can sort of Understand? Yeah. Right. I'd only put a couple of these screws in anyway to do with the charge. Yeah. Oh no. So obviously when I put the underlay down, I'm going to have to create some holes um, ready for that. And then obviously when the carpet goes on top of that, same again, a couple of holes so it all goes through. So a nice bit of gripper rod. Nasty stuff this is. Nasty stuff. Um, I need a hammer, darling. Hammer. Where no, I'm just going to put one in at this end and then it'll pivot around. Red handles and the driver. I'm not necessarily explaining everything to you that I'm doing. I can see what you're doing. I mean, you may take the mick out of my silly little saw, but how many times have you seen this in action? It works, you know, it works. Yes, dear. Just saw you. Didn't you tell me a story once about um, a lad that you knew that was in the butchers once that was sawing some bones in exactly the same position that you were just sawing the bones then? And then he slipped and went straight into his femoral artery, is it, in his leg? No, darling, that wasn't what it was done. <laughs> so what was the difference in what he was doing? He was boning meat with a carving knife like this. <laughs> right, so, I mean, like, like, I'm hitting myself in the groin now with this. Do you want me to just keep doing that? And <laughs> there's nothing else there, so it didn't matter. But... And he didn't have a chainmail front on, yeah. and he went straight into his groin. I was and just died. thinking the way you, you were sawing that then, if he slipped, you would just go straight into the top of your thigh. I know it doesn't comply with health and safety. I'm sure, you know, somebody will say, oh, What are you doing? You should have, having a, little, feelings, should have a little bench. I'm not involved when you do your DIY. But if I said to you, I need a bench, you say, you, we haven't got the money, Lumpy. You're spending your money on everything and well, we haven't got the money. I'm going to just put in a, a slot in there just so that it, you know, 
it knows where to break when I break it. Because again, you don't have to testify. Well, all I'm saying is, it's not. Um, there's nothing cosmetic about this. No, I know. I bet a lot of people wouldn't do all this on a boat. But I like to do things right. <laughs> Did you, did you show them your first attempt? <laughs> no. And this is why, after your first attempt of ruining, how much did you spend on that carpet and completely messing it up, you decided to watch a YouTube video. <laughs> Mitre, I've mitered this one. Do you know what I mean? I've put an angle on it. Ladies and gentlemen of the world, look at that. There you go. Right there. Just take you for a little, uh, a little look at what I've just done with my rubbish saw. Oh, no. oh I've forgotten a bit. Forgotten a bit. You got I've forgotten a bit. Oh. Dot there. Um, about eighteen inches. Oh, no, I forgot a bit. Here's your end delay. Right. Okay. Oh, it's got static in it. But if you, feel, if you feel the end of it, there's almost like a, a paper covering on that side, but there isn't on that side, so that's the bit that I'm not sure. I think that's down. Do you think so? Purple up. The, right, okay. Cool. Yeah, it's a softer up, isn't it? That, you know what you say, it feels like it's got a bit of a, a membrane on it. It feels like it does not really go to matter, is it? Don't want the crackly static. I don't think that is crackly static. I think it's just roughly because there's a tape on it. So we can use one square edge against into there. You know what I mean? So let that, yeah, let that edge drop into there. Like that so cuts off that bit, you see. So that's so happy there. Yeah, you're happy with it. So we can always trim off a bit more at the end if you if you wanted that to happen. Right. Okay. So. That might as well run right through in one, isn't it? If it can. On cutting to here. Yeah. So that, that flops into there. Yeah, that sounds good. I love the way that you learn from past mistakes, Mr. Lemonstone. that beautiful bit of purple underlay mrs lumsden actually quite likes the color <laughs> don't think it quite goes with the green though unless you're a witch <laughs> just finding me holes my table there they are. The one. There. <laughs> Scissors are about as sharp as a spoon. Standard lumpy tools. So this carpet came from eBay. So this is the first time I've actually seen it when we undo this. So <laughs> if she's not happy with this colour, I had nothing to do with purchasing this. Oh my god, that's the best colour ever. Yeah, oh, that's handy. Look at that, how sumptuous and great. That's handy, isn't it? So, we now need to, let's keep the thing end down there out of the way. We need to extend this so that we can cut just enough off without cutting too much off. To fit down that gangway. Once we can get a sort of piece to drop down there, we probably have got to go the other way, haven't we? What do you mean go the other way? Oh no! If we unroll all that, because this end, this is your widest section. But we, apart from, we want 
you know, this this much to pop up there. That's a bit where it's all going to go horribly wrong. Yes, I know. Do you think, should we just live with the underlay for a little bit until no. we get a proper person? No, 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 no. Oh, nice. We can do this. We need the rolled up bit at that end, don't we? We do, but once it comes up this end, it's got nowhere to go because it won't fit here. Of course it won't, no, yeah. So it almost all needs unrolling, mm -hmm. so it will actually double back on itself. Right, I see what you mean, and then you can. And then we can pull this on. up, yeah, because it'll be loose and it can fit somewhere. Yeah, okay. And then we can start again, coming from that end, cuts to cuts, so that it'll fall into the gangway. Just rough, but wide, much wider than the gangway, but enough for it to drop in. And once it's dropped in, we can work with that then. Okay. We'll, then we'll get that end sorted and fixed. Yeah. And then we can start to come around here. That's the plan. So I can go there and, yes. and then a little bit closer because you've got to serve the place there. Yeah. It makes sense to follow that bend around. That's where it all moves in, doesn't it? <laughs> it started to drop. <laughs> now I'm getting this down onto the grippers. Well, how to do that then just this step was, on it this was this was folding it back wasn't it? It was folding it back. You got lots there aren't you we can play with that and put that where we want it yeah. eventually. And we're okay here. It's just one more look then we're okay here. We've got plenty of carpet there and into there. So this is all rather stressful because my um, track record when it comes to fitting of carpets is not great, Mrs. Lumsden. So I always get it just wrong, but it's wrong enough just to then just be rubbish. So we're sort of checking, double checking, triple checking. Uh, but watching YouTube this morning, I think I've always been cutting it from the wrong side. I've always been cutting it from the top face. So I've been putting the carpet in, bending it back, and then thinking I'm in the corner and cutting with a knife, which then I end up over cutting, so I end up with a gap. Whereas on YouTube, you bend the carpet back and you cut the underside of the carpet, and then it falls in, you've got that surplus, and then you knock it down the back of the gripper rod. So, brilliant. And um, didn't know that the gripper rods have got a particular way so there's a chamfer which allows for all that surplus carpet to sort of pile under when you you belt it under with one of these. It tucks it in, grips it. So um, hopefully the extra bit of caution we're using will give us a more professional job. To me, we've actually read the instructions instead of just thinking, oh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's so true. Carry on. Come on.
I'm nervous with that hand that's going on. This part of my hand is more nervous than your face. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Let me know what we're doing. Well, it does say about uh, being cute about getting yourself some knee pads because you're going to be on your knees it's a lot. Not, it's not sore. I haven't got sore skin knees. It's the bend it's of the knee and the 16 stone that's that's bearing down on them. Not like I can do about that. I want to remo remove surplus, really, so that it's more workable. Right. Knife. So cut it with lots to spare. If I put it right up here, at yeah. this point up here. Do you want me to hold it for you? <sighs> okay, stop now. Then cut into there. Have you cut too far now? Mm, no. I can put all that together and we'll push all this. We'll walk this up. Okay. It really is. We'll push it all this way. There's a little cut too much on that side now, but that doesn't. No, it, but once it goes down, yeah. it'll be fine. You won't see it. You know, but I was surprised with yourself this afternoon when you finished. Well, no. thank you. I've not exactly done a lot of any. No, you've offered advice at critical stages. <coughs> <laughs> you've stopped me barreling into an error. <coughs> so, last bits. Knackered. Sweat. Look, sweat, this is. Sweat. Ew. Final few bits now. Into here. <laughs> oh. you, didn't, you didn't do my bum crack, did you? No, I didn't, because you know what? I'm not mean like you. Well, there you go. Look! <laughs> my <laughs> moobs. I've got moob sweat. So, I've learnt something else today. I've learnt that you can save yourself a bit of money. Because I was going to pay somebody to do this. And um, thought, well, okay, let's bite the bullet. Broke Mrs. Lumsden's arm to bring her down. She didn't want to be a part of it. <laughs> well, no, she didn't trust me to do the job properly. So, and I'm glad she was here because I had I could feel the urge to start cutting corners, and she's very good at irritating me into doing the right thing. So, thank you, Mrs. Lumsden. <laughs> so the carpet is fit. Oh, it looks amazing. Please do that. I'm just really looking forward to the first time that you actually um, open the fire door and some hot wood comes out and lands just there. Well, there lies another story. <laughs> and here ended this one. Goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.